Welcome to this impromptu broadcast of Samadhi Game, Saga America, Saga America, this great, glorious country, this American country that we've stepped foot in again for the first time since we're back broadcasting from America. We had a great trip in Croatia and uh, now we're in Jersey at uh, Robbie's relative's home here, beautiful home here in Jersey. Um, Howell, New Jersey? Howell. Howell. Not far from Spring Lake, not far from the Jersey beaches, um, which we plan to attend with the children today. And feeling uh, the great expansiveness of America, the promise that America um, offers us all as individual beings of free will and choice, this promise of following one's heart, this is the true religion. The true dharma of one's heart is the true religion because each of us, as we come closer and closer to that gift that we can give gone, we jump into the oneness with everyone else. That gift is divinely sent and divine means harmony everywhere. It means correspondence, it means connection, it means happening now, it means it means a freedom of choice. It means immediate response from choices, immediate uh, biofeedback from the universal one, whether our choice was good or bad. The more we shield ourselves from that, that biofeedback, the less responsible we are to this, this true religion, this dharma of the soul. And so America is this great, great country which I am so glad to have my feet back in. <laughs> and um, so I wanted to honor America and for all of her faults, the uh, opportunity to live, breathe, serve here in this country is a, ma a magnificent miracle. And every time we take the uh, every time we have an opportunity to travel abroad, I'm sure that all of us feel this great relief once we come home. And then we pick up the papers and we see the disturbing news. We turn on CNN or MSNBC or Fox News, whatever is your predilection to news coverage. And we see this, this debilitating news unfold in front of us. And yet, there is something here in America that no one else has. And when you're abroad, when I was abroad just now, I realized that America is, as I do even when I'm here, but you really feel it. America is this great, brawny, idealistic, um, pra even practical in many ways, much more practical in many ways, uh, country and not just a country, but a conglomeration of peoples and ideas that works better than anywhere else in the world. Despite the fact that Croatia had these beautiful coastlines, all the people that we spoke to spoke of its, its unnerving uh, financial uh, chasm that was looming before it, and no one could feel happy or secure. As we walk down the streets of Croatia, you might hear people smiling and laughing, but you could not hear the buoyancy and the strength of the laughter that you hear when people blaze it out here in America. <laughs> no, it was nice. It was beautiful. We enjoyed our time, and people were lovely. But I must say that on the faces of those walking by was a resi resignation to fate that, was n that you don't typically find here in America. Although it is found in places and quarters, most of our country is ruled by an attitude of hope, of courage, of, of a better future for ourselves and our children. And so I just wanted to give the time to honor that. And Samadhi Game is about that walk. Samadhi Game is about making our lives better, putting ourselves in attunement with that part of ourselves that is divine. 
and honoring it to such a degree that we affirm it for a few moments each day and develop a momentum with that affirmation of the truth of our beings. And so, without ado, I'd like to start the establishing of the rhythm, of the momentum, of the truth of Samadhi game. The integrity that we hold between all worlds, physical, mental, emotional, mental, etheric worlds, all coming together more prominently, more pronounced here in America, more than India, more than Europe, more than Africa, more than Asia, anywhere in Asia. We now hold this torch of freedom more prominently than any country in the world, and it's our responsibility to share it. And Samadhi Game is at least my attempt to give my two cents to a, a process of enlightenment which is most prominently available in America now. You needn't go to India anymore to find a guru. You needn't go to the, to the far reaches of Asia. It's here. It's now. And anyone who's striving to live a complete, whole life, sustainable life, is on that path. Let's go now to Samadhi Game and give some of the mantras of enlightenment. Testing, I just want to make sure we have sound. Yes, we do. This is the shadowless light of Samadhi. It's feeling, tone, and state of knowing. Let's give it together. When we give these mantras together, we create that resonance that echoes across not only this planet, but the universe. <sighs> oh, glorious shadowless light of eternity, that brilliance of I am Samadhi, shining in the void as 10,000 suns, descend, 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 as the tangible substance of loving splendor, dazzling intelligence and palpable power for all to absorb and identify with. As the... F <clears throat> Where am I? <laughs> As the full and only authority throughout the earth, the boundless treasure house of the universe, and our infinite I am Samadhi, of scintillating fire and dazzling light, that I am. I release the power of mastery without limit now, revealing the self and flooding forth perfect miracles and all activities, bringing to pass the enlightenment of the ages, and letting every being on earth sense and surrender to the intimacy of this light. Everywhere, the fullness of this self expanding as love, wisdom, and joy forever. Now, great songs of praise and gratitude burst forth from the heart of humanity, for that silent splendor poured out to all. Now, pure love flows forth from the heart of the secret love star, drenching the earth with the glory and ecstasy of gold and pink liquid light. Now, the oneness of supreme love, wisdom, and blazing joy overwhelms this world of duality in its glowing orb of transmutation, reconciliation, and dominion, making of Terra a smiling sun of everlasting, all-powerful, limitless light, casting no shadow, and in which only that absolute perfection can forever dwell. I am limitless gifts of all good things, anointing the earth with abundance, healing, and happiness for all mankind. O oh, presence of the shadowless light from out the great silence, we identify with thee now. I am the elation and exhilaration, freedom and liberation of this eternal experience and gnosis of samadhi, its ecstatic hearing, blissful feeling, cosmic scent, sublime taste, and immaculate vision, holding all safely within that compassionate diamond heart forever. I intensify this feeling tone of I am shadowless light in acknowledgement, acceptance, and awareness, surrender, devotion, and adoration for this state of knowing that, this all-pervading I am Samadhi, the intelligence of the heart that is divine illumination. I, this great continent of America, this great ideal of America, this great awakeness, this I amness, this A M E R I C A, awake. I am awake, as is the ascended Master Jesus, to this shadowless light, its feeling tone and state of knowing, 
that I am that never sleeps and enjoys all, now and forever. So with each of these mantras, when we give them, we affirm to ourselves the truth of who we really are, and we bring more of that, that American spirit into our consciousness, into our beings. Even the word America, A-M, E-R-I-C-A, am, I am, I am, I am. It's an affirmation that is the new wave of enlightenment on this planet, and it will last for the next 2,000 years. So it's our responsibility now to hold this torch. You and me and all of us here in this broadcast, living in America, our responsibility. And all of us, you and me, all of you Samadhi gamers, all of you Samadhi game manifesto readers, wherever you are on the earth, all of you who affirm the I am that I am within you as your true identity, this is the new wave of enlightenment coming. Let's give more of these mantras. I bow to the Samadhi within myself. This is I bowing to the I am, the I am, the being, the ground of being within yourself. Feel it now. Om Namah Shivaya Guru Ve Satchidaranda Murtaye Nishprapanshaya Shantaya Niradambaya Tejase. I bow to the Samadhi within myself, known as Lord Shiva, that is the true teacher. This samadhi that I am takes the form of truth, consciousness, and bliss. I am always present and full of peace. I am always present and full of peace. I am always present and full of peace. I am completely free and I sparkle with the divine luster, America. I bow to the samadhi within myself, known as Lord America. Let's say that this time. As, as though America were a great Lord of being, carrying a mantle of truth upon himself. I bow to the samadhi within myself, known as Lord America that is the true teacher. This samadhi that I am takes the form of truth, consciousness, and bliss. I am always present and full of peace. I am always present and full of peace. I am always present and full of peace. I am completely free and I sparkle with the divine luster. Opening pillar of light, the pillar of the world. Let me come back just for a moment for those who might be joining us for the first time and seeing this broadcast for the first time, this Samadhi Game Manifesto of Enlightenment. As we put on this armor of light, we are making ourselves aware of our true nature. It's really as simple as that. It's a very simple process. We're just making ourselves aware so that we can be aware of the deeper, more profound levels of enlightenment as we walk through our days, rather than having them be hid behind cloaks of karmic shells of identity. We claim the identity of the core as our truth, and we establish around about us this armor of the Lord, this breastplate of righteousness, and this pillar of the temple that we are. So let's go to it now. Together, sublime I am Samadhi that I am, enfolding me now in that mighty, magic, electronic pillar of cosmic light substance. My identification with its magnificent humility and thoughtful creativity, so powerful and complete, that I artfully and magically alter every polarity with healing unity within this majestic pillar of light, blazes that love as the violet, compassionate flame, into and around my etheric, mental, emotional, and physical bodies, effortlessly dissolving, consuming, transmuting, and reconciling the dualities of my human ego, charging my world and all I contact with the tangible substance, living awareness, and conscious activity, the presence and superconscious samadhi of all enlightened beings, liberated and ascended masters, seeing, feeling, and hearing this light as it shines, radiates, and resonates within me as a visible pillar of the world, stabilized, supported, and sustained by the brilliant, elegant one and infinitely sensitive to that invulnerable state of divine I am Samadhi, 
I want to bring us back for a moment. Uh, we, we talk about ascended masters, each being on this planet, you, me, all of us having the same capacity to walk in an ascended state, just as Jesus did, just as Gautama Buddha did. In the Catholic Church, they have a, um, a vow, a certain vow, I can't, I, I can't remember it verbatim, but I know they vow that Jesus Christ died for us, went to heaven before us, you know, the, you know those, that, that particular cadence of words that comes forth and says, and it, and it acknowledges and it states your vow that he is the one. In Samadhi game, he is one of many. And we acknowledge that, and in doing so, we not only acknowledge the truth of ourselves as the, with the potentials of the same potentials as Jesus, as Gautama, but we acknowledge the potential of every child of God, son and daughter of God on this planet, as having that same potential. And because of the pressure of the mass consciousness on this planet, this is necessary. Otherwise, we could we'll just walk through this embodiment and let the pressures keep us in that dual human ego, embodiment after embodiment after embodiment. And we say, an end to this cycle of vanity. And we lift ourselves into the truth of the almighty oneness that we are by saying these mantras, come on, let's go. Eternity is my home. I do all that is necessary to actualize this ever fresh realization and organize my life around it. Eternity is my home. I do all that is necessary to actualize this ever fresh realization and organize my life around it. Eternity is my home. I do all that is necessary to actualize this ever fresh realization and organize my life around it as streams of light come around you, form themselves around you, are the core of your being, these streams of light from the heart. Let's give this mantra a heartfelt, tangible samadhi. Oh, great spirit, Almighty, oh, I am samadhi at the center of all creation, radiant with illuminating fire, O oh, heartfelt parent of all sons and sons. Pour forth that life-giving power and fan the spark of that divinity on the altar of my heart. Amplifying, magnify this spark by the fire, but of the whole I spirit, into the potent God flame that I am. O oh, the shimmering fountain of life that I hear, feel, smell, taste, and see within me. I choose this constant cascade of liquid light, actively receiving its shimmering directive radiance, tangibly and powerfully manifest in my experience. I open the innermost temple of love within this evident, evident celestial cosmic fire. I manifest that life and light for our healing and regeneration, letting the breath, height, fullness, and crown of the solar radiance of the sun behind the sun appear. I stand forth, revealed in and through me as the neutral witness, that Christos, Krishna, Buddha, Allah, Pharaoh, Monarch, Divine Mother, Father, Sun, Conscious Awareness, I am the visible, audible, tangible flame of eternal life. Just go back and say that again. And when we say am for the rest of this mantra, let's say America. I, America, the visible, audible, tangible flame of eternal life. One more time. I, America, the visible, audible, and tangible flame of eternal life. Breathing the scintillating prana chi from the source to the root of my being. Liquid rays of light flooding my chakras, seated upon their lotus thrones of love, molten gold of enlightenment, shiveriness ascension up my spine, it's with the diamond rays of attainment, as the white fire bean of my heart, I dynamically emanate and transmit this audible, tangible, fragrant, delectable, and visible substance of living samadhi as creativity and direction. I, America, a sun in the palace of the shining void, this temple, a glistening world of infinite space, the process of my transformations, sounding the melodies, harmonies, and rhythms of the great solar symphony. I, America, the dazzling flame of life, here and now, because I, America, nowhere else but everywhere, forever. I, America, Samadhi's palpable joy, tactile glory, and felt perfection of boundless being. I, America, that. I, American, that. I, American, that. 
I am the saga of America. I am the saga of America. I am the saga of America. In embodiment, in embodiment, in embodiment. I, America, oneness, lived. I know those are strong, strong affirmations, and we, we even dare to claim ourselves as American spirits. But with Samadhi Game, we step out on that limb. We don't just go by the rules of established religion, but we go by the rules of the cosmic dictates of our hearts. And we draw from all the religions. We fulfill all religions by this code of enlightenment, which is written into Samadhi Game. And we honor this, this outpost of freedom that America is. And as we step back upon its soil, we feel these currents, and they are undeniable. There is no place that we can feel this in the world but here, to the extent that we feel it. It is available everywhere in the world, and it is the process of every country coming in concordance with the same principles that America has struggled with and still struggles with and will struggle with till the end of its days to refine this technique of living as oneness now. This is what basically we're doing in America breaking the rules, the boundaries, the past superstitions of what it means to be enlightened. And it's 9.33 right now. I love that number 33. Let's go on and give some more of these mantras of enlightenment. I'd like to give the radiant circle of healing love and the art of life and liquid white light. Oh, radiant circle of healing love and the art of life and liquid white light. Encircle me now, encircle me now, encircle me now. I am this loving splendor encircling me now. I am this living prana chi encircling me now. I am this liquid crystal fire encircling me now. I am the Samadhi encircling me now. This I radiate, radiate, radiate. As the active intelligence of powerful conscious volition, that I, America, I govern this exhaustless energy and precipitate all things into form of those who come under the radiation of this. My radiant circle of healing love and the art of life and liquid white light, including all of our families, immediate and distant, extended, even the Samadhi Game tribe, all those listening to or will listen to, past, present, and future, the Samadhi Game archived versions of, this, of these broadcasts. I ignite and I expand the illuminating center within their bodies, emotions, and minds into that active, perfect, and eternal garment of enlightenment. O radiant circle of healing love and the art of life and liquid white light, that I, America, Instantly bring healing to and make art of all dual human ego in my world, opening wide the door of my heart. Divine and present existence and expression and expansion. I, America, the wide open door of my heart, flooding forth the radiant circle of healing love and the art of life and liquid white light, the enchanting essence of my electronic body and I, America, Samadhi. I balance, blaze, and dazzle the threefold activity of my heart, Samadhi. Ennobling love, wisdom, and power encircles me, now and forever bringing healing to and making art of every dual human ego activity, freeing me to leap into divine union with the source of these, the shining three. I, America, the mighty, magic, electromagnetic circle of invincible liquid love, light, and life substance, instantly transmuting and harmonizing, healing and making art of every discordance or distraction which seeks to enter or intrude itself, masquerading as the I, America, me. I, America, the self-sustaining perfection of my world, enfolded in the radiant circle of healing love and the art of life and liquid white light, the samadhi that I, America, I remain, the vanish the veils of light and shade. I abide in the shining truth of divine law and the just of eternity, I, America, the lake of kindness, free of disturbing conditions, inner and outer. Oh. 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 
I am commanding all things. I am commanding all therapies within this. The I, America, commanding all therapies within this, the inner magic of my radiant circle of healing love, to be revealed with the art of life and liquid white light of Samadhi, the all-pervading, serving, and harmonizing bliss. Sorry, I, I, uh, we're on the road, and uh, this is a, a new place to do this, and I didn't have the, uh, the screen shifted to the mantras for that, but just listen to that. Just listen to the affirmations if you don't see them and hear what we're saying. Hear the affirmation of being that we're giving with these mantras. This is not normal conscious awareness. This is the awareness of enlightened state. And to affirm it for yourselves is the first step in manifesting this consciousness and sharing this consciousness and bringing out that gift that only you can give. That gift that America prides itself for each son of liberty as you walk forth and give your gift, whether it be mechanic, shoemaker, doctor, lawyer, political, representative, whatever position that your heart has dictated to you to take and to live into fully, you're living it and you're living that gift given gone fully brings the glory to this country. A glory that can be felt when we're here, despite we know the problems. But let's get back to the roots, the roots of our hearts, and let those roots of our hearts take deeper hold in the soil of enlightenment, the soil of the truth of our beings, by giving ourselves an opportunity to become aware of them. If we just listen to CNN, watch the tube, uh, talk the normal banter from the, the, uh, from the newspaper editions, we're never going to get beyond this special realm, this other world of enlightenment that exists and waits for our conscious affirmation of it. So Samadhi Game was written so that we can have a moment every day where we connect to this world and learn its language, the American language. It does no, it's no accident that English is our language here in America of choice. It's no accident that this language, English, is now the lingua franca for most of the world. Almost anywhere we go, we can speak English. It's nice to be able to speak other languages as well, but American English transfers this passion, this, this, de this determination to live by the code, the secret code of your own heart. Let's go on and give one more mantra before we close it up for today for this impromptu broadcast, our first broadcast since we returned to American soil. So glad to be back. Broadcasting live from Howell, New Jersey. Samadhi's I Am Memory and Momentum, the Golden River of Sustained Enlightenment and Divine Direction. We give this mantra, creating this momentum of enlightenment. Every word we speak, building a power, an awareness that allows us to make decisions from the greater level of being than just the dual human ego. Come on. From billowing clouds in the spotless sky of the tangible I Am Samadhi, that I, America, comes now a downpour of the memory and momentum of the golden river of sustained enlightenment and divine direction, a drenching of mastery and dominion here and now, rivulets of wise thinking, lovely feeling, and powerful activity converging as the eternal sweep of the sacred Ganga, the memory and momentum of love, wisdom, and power flooding forth like a million Niagara Falls, ceaselessly descending in through and around all my thoughts, feelings and activities, including all of your activities that you can think of for the day. Just save them. For instance, today, we're still on vacation, <laughs> and our activities are including a day at what beach? Island Beach State Park. Island Beach State Park. A day, an evening of swimming in the pool okay. afterwards, of maybe a barbecue, maybe time with relatives and family, and um, just that. To har and then we, we continue on. To harmonize and perfect them now, 
as Christos, as Krishna, as Buddha, as Allah, as Pharaoh, as monarch, as the Divine Mother Father, as the Son, Conscious, Neutral, Witness, Awareness. We're not mincing words here. We're taking the asness of all of them. We accept that we have the potential of the Buddha, the Krishna, the Christos, the Allah, the Pharaoh, the monarch, the Divine Mother, Father, the Son, Conscious, Neutral, Witness, Awareness, within ourselves. We're not going to let it be only in the purview of some other divine being. We, too, are divine, and we enter this golden river of sustained enlightenment and divine direction here and now, bathing in the streaming memory and momentum of love, life, and light. I take command of all thoughts, feelings, and actions below the highlands of superconscious living and awareness. Lo, I, America, become the sea of mirth itself. Lo, I, America, become the sea of mirth itself. Lo, I, America, become the sea of mirth itself. O loving I, America, Samadhi, that I, America. O Ganesha, o great divine director and the great karmic board, and if you're joining us for the first time, you'll note that you can include whatever great beings of light you have a predilection to there in that blank. And you can join us, if you like, with the names that we have written, just as a way of coming together as one. And then we continue on. That, I, America, I invoke your memory and momentum of sustained enlightenment and divine direction. I, America, that guidance now. I, America, that courage and strength, that acts, and in my attention to my men with me, women with Robbie. Purpose, plan, focus, freedom, dharma, and death. I hold my scepter of dominion and power sustained. From the joyous I, America, Samadhi, that I, America, I descend in the whirlwind radiance of this Christos, Krishna, Buddha, Allah, Pharaoh, Monarch, Divine Mother, Father, Sun, Conscious Awareness. I envelop my four lower bodies with the unbroken thrill of that neutral witness and unique sexual essence, and I stand guard over my entire consciousness, being, and world 24-7. O eternal I, America Samadhi, beyond all imagination of expectancy, I charge my physical, emotional, physical, and etheric bodies with that memory and momentum of full conscious realization as I issue the following command to all the polarized human creation and ego etched in my pranas, chakras, and meridians, and those of the entire planetary body. Dissolve, consume, transmute, and reconcile by the divided light of Samadhi. Dissolve, consume, transmute, and reconcile by the divided light of Samadhi. Dissolve, consume, transmute, and reconcile by the divided light of Samadhi. I let the instantaneous release of the self luminous, infinitely intelligent light substance issue forth without limit from the immortal Samadhi that I remember I, America. And I charge these pranas, chakras, and meridians, thoughts and feelings, activities and environment, with the victorious memory and momentum of the golden river of sustained enlightenment and divine direction, such that all polarized human creation and ego is instantly transmuted and transfigured into refined and perfected states of awareness, action, and physicality. And so we've gone out on a limb today to identify ourselves with the great spirit of America, which I love to do. At home, before we left, this July 4th, we flew a plethora of American flags all around our home. This great country, this great spirit that America does hold, we hold the spirit of America within our hearts every time we come to the core of our beings and say, we are going to live our truth. We're not going to have anyone else walk on our parade. Our parade is in harmony, in consonance, and one with everyone else's parade. It can be that way. Everyone can dance their dance in the streets of America. Everyone can come forth and share the truth of their being in a way that is unique to them and still be in harmony with everybody else. This is the core of being. This is the oneness, and it can be done. There does not have to be dissonance. There does not have to be inharmony. There does not have to be argument. It is possible that we can all brook the same beauty, the same bliss, the same happiness, move towards it in a way that is more profound than ever before. 
not just because we're, we see the commercials of new cars and new toasters and new diamond rings and want those things for ourselves and do whatever we can to have them, but because we act from our very core of love, which brings all abundance to us. I am come that ye might have life and that more abundantly. I am come that ye might have life and that more abundantly. I, America, come that ye might have life and that more abundantly. And that affirms the Dharma of America again and again and again. It is our responsibility to hold this truth for eternity. Ready? We're ready for the beach. Yeah. <laughs> Join us again Monday morning. We'll be broadcasting from Tejeras, New Mexico. We enjoyed having you today. Enjoy the few last, the few strains before we turn it off of these beautiful trumpets, trumpeting the nobility, truth, and long, et eternal maintenance of this country's vision for a vision of freedom. Om. Peace to you all. Enjoy. Bye now. <laughs>